Hello students, in this video we'll solve an optimization problem involving a trebuchet. So a trebuchet is a basically a catapult where there's a counterweight, right? And so what's going to happen over here is I'm going to have some configuration where there's a counterweight. A counterweight comes down, like so, and then it launches, um, a sling comes out and it launches a projectile this way, right? So that's basically what a trebuchet does. And what happens is there's an angle over here, an angle over here, theta, Right, and the objective of this problem is to sort of say, if I have an if I have a launch angle of theta, what value of theta is going to optimize the range? And so the range, the range of a projectile launched by a trebuchet is modeled. by range is twice the initial velocity of the projectile squared the sine of theta, the cosine of theta over g for gravity, right? So v0 here is the initial velocity of the projectile, initial velocity, g is the active gra is the gravitational constant, that's gravity, right? And so you want to optimize r as a function of theta, and so we put this into the calculus wheelhouse, the standard calculus optimization methods, right? So to do this, we'll do the derivative of r with respect to theta, right? So that's where the projectile is launching. So in other words, what's happened over here is this weight comes down, the arm goes up, and it launches the projectile, and the projectile goes this way, and I want to find the theta that maximizes the range, okay? So let's do it. So I have to do the derivative of r with respect to theta, so dr d theta is going to be what? We can pull this, these constants over here out, so that's going to be 2v0 squared over g. And then we can use the product rule. We could have also done the double angle formula. That's another way to do the problem. But we're just going to do the product rule for practice with calculus. It's going to be the first function times the derivative of the second. So sine of theta times the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then plus the second function, cosine of theta, times the derivative of the first function, which is going to be derivative of sine, which is going to be cosine of theta. And so this, of course, is cosine squared minus sine squared. So I want to optimize this. So I want to set this equal to 0. So this value of theta, this value of theta of theta should maximize the range. And we'll check that with the second derivative test. Maximize the range. OK? So I have that cosine squared of theta is equal to sine squared of theta. And the only time that happens in this, uh, for the range of theta is given between 0 and pi, uh, 2 pi, so we're going to restrict ourselves to the range theta between 0 and pi over 2. The only time when this is true in this range, they're both positive, I can take the square root of this thing, that says that cosine of theta is equal to sine of theta, and that of course happens when theta is equal to pi over 4. So let's check to make sure that this actually is a local maximum for this function, right? So let's do the second derivative. What will the second derivative be over here? Well, now I will actually use some um, properties, trigonometric properties. I know that cosine squared minus sine squared is equal to the cosine of 2 theta. From trigonometry, the cosine of 2 theta is the cosine squared of theta minus the sine squared of theta. So I will, in fact, bust out the double angle identity right now. And so this tells me if I do the second derivative, what's d squared r d theta squared? It's going to be this constant twice the initial velocity squared over the gravity, and then times what? This term over here is really just the cosine of 2 theta. Derivative of cosine is negative sine of 2 theta times 2. And at the value pi over 4, you can get what? So at d squared r d theta squared at pi over 4 is going to be 2v0 squared over g times another 2, and then times the negative the sine of pi over 2, and that's just equal to negative 1 over here. So this whole thing is just negative, negative 4v0 squared over g, and that is less than 0. So the second derivative test says that theta over 4 is the maximum, right? So r is maximized. at theta equals pi over 4. Thank you very much.